What is going on guys and gals of YouTube? It's Anthony of the Primal Crew and I'm here today with a brand new Let's Play for the channel. We are going to be playing through Super Mario RPG Legend of the Seven Stars. Now, this has been a game that I've wanted to play for a while and we have tried to play this before as you can see by one of the save titles over here. Uh, but it was not successful just because I was not very... What's the word I want to use? Uh, I wasn't very on the ball or consistent is the word I want to use. Now, obviously this is not going to be a super serious let's play. This is not going to be something that I'm going to record like multiple or, you know, extra parts or anything like that. But I'm going to, depending upon how well it's received by you, the fans, uh, we will go based off of that. Um, if you guys are hyped for to this uh, for this let's play, please make sure that you smash that like button down below and show your support for the channel. And if you haven't already, do not forget to uh, subscribe to the channel for more great TCG let's play, other random videos such as this. Um, so, what is Super Mario RPG? Super Mario RPG, brief history behind it, uh, is actually the very first Mario game to actually have a 3D environment allowing for more exploration and just an expansion on the actual Mario universe itself. Obviously, this would be replicated and done a little bit better when it gets to Paper Mario and to uh, Mario 64 for the Nintendo 64. But for the Super Nintendo, this was new, obviously, and you'll see as soon as we get into the game itself. Uh, this game is, like I said, it's an RPG. <coughs> So it is a role-playing game. It's a lot of ways kind of like Final Fantasy in a sense. And as, you know, episodes go on, you will actually see there is a lot of correlation to that franchise. Uh, this game was released to us uh, in the U.S. in 1996. For you millennials that were born after 2000, this game's old. For those of us that were born... Before this game came out, I was 10. Let's just put that into perspective. It's 2020. This came out in 96. Do the math. Um, but we are going to be going into this. I would like to... Oh, I have to start a new game. I forgot. I have to actually go up there and do it. Um, we are going to... No, we're going to be primal this time. All right. Pretty similar to what we saw in the very beginning with the twist. Obviously, this is the same old adage of Bowser kidnapping Princess Toadstool, Princess Peach, and Mario coming to save said princess by barging into the castle and, you know, going after Bowser. Now, once we get in here, I can show you a few things. Or not. I guess it won't let me show you anything yet. Now, I don't think I gain any experience through any of these fights, so I'm just going to try and escape as many as I can. So this is the sense of what I meant. This is just like uh, Mario RP or Mario RPG, like Final Fantasy in the sense that it's a turn-based fighting combat game uh, where I will take my turn, the enemies will take their turn, and we will try and not die. So you have four basic functions. You have your defense button. You have your special button here. Your item button, just in case you have healing items or for your your moves over here. And your basic fight button. Now, as it says right there, it says Terrapin unarmed. I don't have a weapon attached to me. Normally, Mario would have a hammer, shell, or what have you. I only have my bare fist. Uh, and there is a timing to this, and I'm not going to show it to you right here. Or I'm not going to show you the wrong way of doing it. But if you hit it at just the right time, you can get a second attack off, and you'll hear a little chime. Like that. 
Same thing with blocking. If you press it at the right time, you can take no damage or you can take one damage. And this goes on until everything goes down. Obviously, progression of enemies will get harder. And again, we don't gain any experience for any of this, unfortunately. As we run across the bridge, bridge breaks. We go through the doors. Now, this is just look at the imagery. For 1996 uh, Super Nintendo console, look at this. I mean, I know it's kind of hokey if you look at it now in 2020, but for us back in the day, this was this was the shit. <laughs> Again, not to make myself not to make myself seem older than I have to be. Don't let Bowser bruise you, Mario. <laughs> Mario, prepare yourself for the great beyond. I'm not going to do too many voices just because that'll kill my throat. So now, again, turn-based, and we're facing off against Bowser. But in a twist, because I remember this and I can show you this as a tip, you don't want to aim for Bowser because it won't really do much in terms of, you know, defeating him. You have to aim for the kink, the kink link. So just aim for that a couple times. And just watch out for his attacks. And somehow we got healed right before we got into this battle. Mario, the chain. Aim for the chain. Bitch, I'm aiming for the chain. I already know this. Don't tell me. This will only take a few. As you can see, we are blocking most of the attacks. And there we go. What was that sound? No! It's a chain react. The puns. The puns! I love it. Hang on, Kink Link. Nope. Well, down he goes. And you think all, hung all is hunky dory? We're going to jump up there and grab the princess. He legit hits us, hits our link with a hammer. And sh this bitch is telling me to fight. What do you want me to do exactly? And he hits it one more time, and we go down. And somehow we're catching up to him. Ha, ah, did you think I was just going to give her to you? You're always in my way. This is it. I'm going to take you out, Mario. Get ready for some irony. <laughs> Foiled again. Are you dashily kids? God, his voice is hurt. Oh, Mario, you made me so worried. Here's where the plot thickens. I'm going to fall! So, symbolically, this sword over here, this sword is actually named Exor. E-X-O-R. Uh, and what it symbolically did was it broke through the Star Road that you will remember from Super Mario World if you played that on Super Nintendo, and symbolically broke it. And it is now attached into uh, Bowser's Castle, which we have now been ejected out of somehow. Um, and to go into a little bit more detail, Exor is just a portal that leads into another world that is run by the uh, the bad guy, Smithy. Uh, I will try and have little sidebar information about who Smithy is and like his role and everything. But most likely I'll just be putting up a picture, probably like right now. And it'll just give you more information on Smithy itself if you want to, you know, hit up Wikipedia. It'll give you all the information. But for now, as you can see, somehow we got hung up on, you know, our coat rag next to a pair of clothes. Lots of people use something called a door to go in and out of their houses. Toad, it's my house. 
If I want to go in through the through the pipe, I'll go in through the pipe. Anyways, I came to pick up Sil so she's a bit late. Uh, she ain't here. And I will also say, Mario RPG has some of the best music ever. Now I can go into a little bit more. So, in your item, uh, in your item inventory through your you know pause screen, you can see that Mario is level one with 20 HP. Over here on our left right hand side, we have our item, our status, special equip, and special item. Down at the bottom right hand corner, you'll see flowers, which is pretty much our kind of like our. Uh, uh, what's the special way of saying it? Uh, I don't remember much from Final Fantasy. Uh, for our special moves, that's pretty much our like, like our special points for it, I guess. There's a better word for it, I know. Uh, and then coins and frog coins. Frog coins come in handy a little bit later. Uh, obviously, oops, did not mean to click out of it. If you go into items, this is where, like I said, your mushrooms uh, to fill up your flower points. It would be honey syrups. Uh, your status. This tells you where your speed, your attack is. Defense, right now I have none, for whatever reason. Uh, magic attack and magic defense. So it's kind of similar to Pokemon in a lot of sense. There is a physical special split in this. Go figure. And right now our magic attack is fine, but our magic defense sucks. Uh, we haven't gained any experience, and our next level up is, excuse me, at 16. If we go to our special... This pretty much just tells us, uh, it also tells us in the lower left-hand corner when we learn a new attack. Uh, and in the lower right-hand corner, it shows how many of our flower power or flower points it uses to uh, power it. It's magic power, and then it stomps foes by pushing Y just before you hit it. In the equipment, we can actually have weapons, we can have armor, we can have an accessory. An accessory, I believe, is a pin an amulet, uh, or pants, I believe. Uh, and then, or no, not pants. That would be in the armor. That would be a shirt, pants, or something along those lines. And we'll go into a little bit more of that. Uh, and special items, we have none. So, you won't really see much there. Now, if we come outside, we talk to Toad. Hey, I thought the princess was coming with you. So, so where is she? What's with the silent treatment? That's a running gag in this game that you'll notice. Everyone says that he's the strong silent type. When does Mario ever talk in his games? I mean, in the later games, obviously he does, but in the early games, he didn't say anything but woohoo! Yeah! Or anything like that. You're not telling me something. It's Bowser Gate, isn't it? Oh no, here we go again. Alright, would you please bring her back as you like you always do? Uh Toad, I've tried. Yeah, I'm going to go take a snooze really quick, even though I don't need to. So we can turn out the light and go to bed. It's another way of kind of healing, just like in Pokemon, where I jump out of bed. All right, let's go talk to Toad again. Uh, no. So these blocks over here, these are our save blocks. Now we can actually... Oopsie. Did not mean to press that. We can save over data. Yeah, I'm saving over it. So, as you can see, it says Primal, Mario's Pad, Level 1. It pretty much tells us that we're still Level 1. Thanks, game. So, if we go out there, he wants us to go back out there and, you know, try and save the Princess from Bowser's Keep. As you can see, there's a lot to this world map, and this is just the most basic part of it. So, if we go to Bowser's Keep here, obviously, we still have a bridge to get there. For now. As we try and get closer, you can see Mario's made the realization that there is a giant sword poking out of Bowser's castle. All who goes there, a trespasser. This castle now belongs to the Smithy gang. Remember I made mention to that name earlier. Smithy, it is the main antagonist of this game. Um, there's not much else to tell you about him now because we'll learn more about him as the game goes on. It's our first step towards taking over this world, and if you're, if we're for you knows the characters like you, we're practically on this world. Let's just see how you deal with this. Pretty much, he uses earthquake to break the bridge that you know bonds together, you know where Mario's world is and where the castle is. So. 
Now there's Vista Hill where you can just look at the castle. And now we have to go disappoint, disappoint Toad. Where the hell did Toad go? Toad! Toad! Oh, there you are. You're back so soon. Did you forget something? What do you mean did I forget something? You were looking out the window. You didn't see it? So the theatrics that you're looking at is this is how, since Mario doesn't talk, this is how Mario explains things in the game. We must form the uh, Chancellor of the Mushroom Kingdom at once. Let's go, Mario. <sighs> Fine. Now watch as we try and exit. Ah! Oops. Excuse me. Oh, that bump on your head reduced your HP level. This game breaks the fourth wall so many times. <laughs> One of Mushroom Kingdom's fam famous items might perk you up. So we reserved, uh, received our first item, which is a mushroom. Uh, do I know how to use these items? Of course I do. Oh, I see. You're just so well-traveled and experienced, Mario. Uh, duh. Now, why did I rush back? I had something to tell you. Oh, yeah. Goomba! I wanted to warn you about swarms of monsters. I just barely made it back here. Mario, please do something. Do, you, do I know about timed hits? That's exactly what I was telling you guys about earlier. If you time your hit and you hit it at such a certain time, it'll do more damage and it'll hit twice. I do know about it. Hey, you better watch out. He knows about timed hits. He's going to punch the lights out. And the Goomba just walks away. Sure. He's got more bark to bite, huh? Why did I respect? I had to tell you something. That's right. We need to tell the Chancellor about Toadstool. I'll see you over at the Mushroom Kingdom. Just in case, take these with you. And we received three more mushrooms. If we go to our inventory now, we have... We have four mushrooms. Hooray. So now we're going to be getting our first taste of actual, like, you know, I'm going to gain levels kind of content. Combat. And there will be a point where I'm probably going to, you know, end things and kind of grind off screen so that way I can get some levels up. Now, obviously you can get dropped items like that where it says uh, HP max, where if I had taken any damage prior to getting that flower, my HP would be back to normal. In this case, it didn't do anything. So at the very end of it, uh, and it tells you right here uh, how many experience points you gained and how many coins you earned as well. Now, obviously, we didn't earn any coins, and I'll exp you know show you when we actually get coins. As you can see, Toadie got caught, so I had to go save him. So if I timed this right, oh, I didn't get I didn't get the flower like I thought I was gonna. I do want to gain a level before I end this episode off, just so that way you all can see it. Oh. Gotta keep beating up Goombas. There we go. HP max. So now we're back at full HP. Didn't have to use a mushroom. And that is an example of if you don't time your hit. You just kind of hit once. And we found a treasure chest, so let's, you know, get some treasure. This does get very, very mundane after a while, where all you're really doing is... Just fighting, 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 gaining experience, fighting, 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 fighting. But it's kind of the point of the game itself where you gotta try and fight as much as you can. Now, obviously, these tough. I almost said these Pokemon are a lot tougher. These enemies are a lot tougher because, you know. You know, they're like, you know, just more defensive. So we are going to try our one of our jumps really quick. And you heard the little sound there, the little chime, because I hit it at the right time. I got more out of it. And we got we actually got coins. Now, if you defeat an enemy and it shows a coin, that means you get a coin from that battle. And you always gain experience. Like, that doesn't, like, not happen. All right, let's face off against this thing and just beat it with a jump. See? Still time to just write. Still got the extra. 
Toad, I know you're in trouble, but there's a treasure chest. All right. Let's save him. There are some some moves that you can't you can't block. And you'll see those moves a little bit later. So now that we've saved Toad, phew, I'll have saved my eyes. Here's something in return. And we got honey syrup. Now, honey syrup is what I was talking about earlier. That is one of those items that refills your flower points. Uh, honey syrup. Uh, and then later items that will be a flower tab, flower jar, and flower box. When we get one of those items, I will show you what those do. Ooh, hidden enemies everywhere. I only want to gain one level so I can show this off. I think that should be coming very, very soon. Not now. Ah. And there will be times where you're sitting in a spot and enemies will just come on and interrupt things. Give me my one experience and my one coin, which gives me a level up. Mario has reached level two. Now, just for a basic level up, you can see that my HP has gone up by 5, my attack has gone up by 3 points, my defense has gone up by 2, my magic attack has gone up by 12, and my magic defense has gone up by 4, or by 2, excuse me. Now, obviously, we don't learn another move, but because we get a level up, we can actually put more into... Uh, we can put more into uh, either my HP, which would go up by 3... My attack and defense, which would only go up by one point in each. Or my special, which would be magic attack, would go up by three. And my magic defense would go up by one. I'm going to play it safe, and I'm going to just do max HP for now. Uh, that flower that you just saw right there is one of those random items that will raise up my actual... Uh, so if you notice in the lower right-hand corner, uh, my flower still says one out of eleven. That flower pretty much just raised me, like, one extra, like, uh, total flower. So, for my special attacks... Whoa! God dang it, he came out of nowhere. I can also run away from battle, too. Let me see if I can actually do that. Couldn't run. If you do that, it's pretty much like, uh... What's the word that I want to use? It's like using uh, Runaway in Pokemon. A lot of this is Pokemon related, which is funny. I mean, not the mechanics or anything like that, but... Uh, fucking Toad gets taken away by a Sky Trooper again. First time doing over 100 damage on, a t uh, on a, an opponent. Boy, that was a close call. Here's a token of my appreciation. Flower tap. That's what I was speaking about earlier. We're going to make this a very long episode. A flower tab raises my flower points by one. So if I were to use this flower tab right now, it would bring my flower points from 11 to 12, and it would fully refill them as well. Aha. That mushroom that you just saw right there actually just healed me completely. So, all my hit points were uh, refilled, and my flower points were also refilled. Now, this should be... How far away am I from a level up? I think I'm pretty far away, right? 29. Um... Doi, if I go to a certain point, I'm going to run into the first boss of this area. Which will either be really good or really bad for us. But I think I might stay around and grind for a little bit. I mean, I technically can go back and forth and grind off the enemies. Oi. And that's what happens if you don't block. You take a lot of damage. 
It's not fun. All right, come here. I know the enemy that's coming too. So I think I want to be at least level three when I face it. Just because. Now the beauty of this is I believe I can actually leave, come back for more enemies to spawn if there's not any for me to fight. I can't time a spinning attack apparently. I can time that perfectly fine, as you can see. And I uh, clicked off of it, but you can also... Enemies can actually drop items, too, as you can see. Uh, this last enemy dropped a honey syrup for us. Aha! So they can drop things like mushrooms, honey syrups, maple syrups... There's a lot of different items in this game that they can drop. Uh, should be getting close to a level up. Alright. I think we're going to have to use a... Gonna have to use a mushroom. Because we're down to like 11 hit points. Okay, so 17. I know this isn't the most glamorous thing in the world, y'all. But it is necessary if we want to be prepared for this game. Now, obviously, if I'm gonna do any more grinding, it'll be off camera. But I will probably record it just so that way y'all can see. Although there is no way of modifying things, so. If I, and this is not like a Pokemon where if it's a Nuzlocke, I, if I die, I lose. Like, I can, you know, die as many times as I want to. I just don't want to. Let's see, if I go any further over to that right side, I know I'm going to run into the main antagonist of this first area. And I don't want to do that yet. I'm just going to keep fighting, keep gaining experience, keep gaining coins. Thank you. Damn thing was hiding from me. Die. Die, boy. This game does not take any, like, less amount of time. This game can take a while. Considering all the components and all the parts that are in this. Believe me, it is day at one point when I was younger because I didn't I didn't do like the proper leveling up or anything like that. This game took me a long time to finish when I was a kid. And remember, this game came out when I was ten. I had it when it first came out, so if that tells you anything. I was a naive stupid kid. Should be a few more battles away from finishing and getting to level three. Seven more experience, so we're about four battles away. Oh, there's, I need Lagatu to drop me some more, uh, more peoples. Time one perfectly fine, but I can't time the other one. Yeesh. Okay, I took my eye off the ball for that one. At least I killed it. And see, there we go. Item honey syrup. So we got another honey syrup off of one of these one of these baddies. Got two more battles here. Jesus. Stop it. I'm definitely gonna have to heal after this. Even though I know I'm like, 
I'm one level or like two fights away from actually getting up there. I need to make sure that I don't die. <laughs> Ooh, don't go too far over to the left, buddy, or to the right. I think I'm finally getting the timing down. Uh, there is also status in this game. I didn't mention that. Um, but you can get poisoned. You can get turned into a scarecrow. You can be put to sleep. Interesting little tidbit there. I don't know if I, I didn't mention that earlier. This should be our last fight before we level up. We got another honey syrup, and we got our level up. So we have reached level three. So HP has gone up by five points. Attack has gone up by three. Defense has gone up by two. Magic attack has gone up by two. And magic defense, excuse me, our stretching has gone up by two. And because we got up to level three, remember we learned a new move at level three. We learned the move Fire Orb. So our attack can go up by two. Defense by one. HP can go up by three. And magic and everything go up there. I'm going to raise up my attack and my defense. So just to double check. Everything went up. Oopsie. So if you go into our special here now. Uh, this specific move, Fire Orb, uses five flower points. Which has a magic power of 20. And if you repeatedly press Y, it'll do the most damage. I, yeah, that's pretty, pretty obvious. All right, and there's no way for me to save anything unless I completely leave. So let us head on over here to the hammer, bro. And why do I call him the hammer, bro? Because he's holding a hammer, bro. Hey, you looking at me? My hammer and I don't like you. All right, be careful. He's definitely got a mean streak. Psh, please. Now you got my hammer angry. You shouldn't have done that. So, for clarification, there was only one of him earlier. Now there's two of them. These are the Hammer Rows. I don't remember how many hit points these have, but they have a couple different moves. Uh, one where they can just come up to you and whack you with a hammer, or they have what's called Hammer Time, where he can fling multiple hammers at you, and it'll do a lot of damage. Um... I am going to try my best to fire orb one of these. As you see, it says hit it. Hit it repeatedly. There's hammer time. And there is a way to block that. So they just proved my point. Wasn't that hard to take out the first one. Will not be that hard to take out the second one. Now, Valor Up. I don't remember what this move actually does. Uh, I will look it up uh, just so that way I have clarification for the move. But I think that raises defense. I don't think it raised special defense, though. Eh, it did about the same. This is usually a pretty easy fight as long as you're decently leveled. And we were decently leveled for this by far. And as you can see, we got six experience points, 20 uh, pokey coins, 20 coins, and a flower jar. I believe a flower jar raises up your flower points by three. Thanks, Mario. I was running so fast I wasn't watching where I was going. Mushroom Kingdom's just ahead. We're almost there, Mario. Hey, where did this hammer come from? It has the Hammer Rose insignia on it. No one stands a chance against it when you womp them with this. So, you never know. It might come in handy. We received a hammer. And this could be our first equipment. Let's get a move on, Mario. I'll see you at the Mushroom Kingdom. Do you love how Toe just runs off like that? So we go to our equipment right now. Our attack is at 28. If we move the hammer over there, it raises up to 38. It raises it by 10 hit points. 
Obviously, it doesn't affect anything else. Uh, but there will be weapons later on that do affect uh, your magic attack uh, and possibly your defense or magic defense. But we are going to equip Mario with the hammer now. And we are going to walk through the portal over here. Which brings us to the Mushroom Kingdom. Uh, but we are going to actually save off here. We're going to go into the inn, which I know I didn't really explain too much on here. But the inn is pretty much an area where you can just sleep. And we have saved it now. And we are going to end this episode off here. So I really hope you guys did enjoy this episode of Super Mario RPG Legend of the Seven Stars. If you guys did enjoy yourself, please make sure that you smash that like button down below. Showing your support for the channel. If you do want to see more episodes of this, please hit the like button and let me know in the comment section down below what you thought. Above all else, do not forget to subscribe to this channel for more great TCG Let's Play and other random videos such as this. But with that, I'm going to get up out of here. Thank you guys for coming out and checking out today's episode. I have been Anthony. You guys have been the best part of the Primal Crew, and I will catch you guys next time. And as always, thank you all so much for your support, and take it easy.